So, <clears throat> we are on Arch Linux. Do you want proof? Screen fetch, here you are. So we have um, a possibility here to show you with new fetch as well. But there was there is something something happened during our uh, well whatever we did. So let's just figure it out together because we have QWERTY again. Don't want that. So super control alt M. No. Control Alt M is not working. But M is now here. <laughs> Qwerty. So let's go to the keyboard and see what's in here. So we have Belgian in here, which is good. So Super Shift Reload. And the R is Super Shift Reload. Okay, that's working. I still have Qwerty. So let's figure it out together. So Eric, Eric, console H in the config in i3, there is a config, super F, that's now big and bigger, and XF, I'm gonna look for XF, 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 settings something. This one. I'm gonna activate the XF settings daemon. Save. Reload. Still QWERTY. So the question is I need to super X and X is here, right? Okay, let's quit this. Now quit is here. Where is QWERTY here? Super shift X. Hmm. What did go wrong right now? Ah, yes. Yeah, super. No. Anyway, this, this is saved. Okay, so quit. And now I want to actually reboot. Ah, there it is. So, um, reboot, logout, I'm gonna reboot. With this speed, doesn't really matter. Okay, that's that. Now the question is, super return, that works. And my SFT key works as well. So, I'm out of the, of my issues, of my problems. Now the menu here, we have super F11. Okay, super F12, okay, so we can start typing and if you want to see what caca fire I think it was, stupid little thing, no, okay, we have a computer that's in on fire, but things like that, um, super D, and we can launch whatever application we want, do we alt F3, alt F3 is installed as well, so we, if we don't know the name anymore, we ju just go check it up. Check it out here, what we need, what it's named again. Um, if you want to change the look, Alex Appearance is the one you need. Let's get rid of this one. Alex Appearance, Ooh, what did we not take? Smoke. Smoke Dark is something we've not taken yet. So color, icon theme, we can take something gray. But this is, well, like, why not this one? Sadi Mono Colora Heather. Okay, close. Now, nothing will happen here, not even if you restart Tunar. But um, we need to set that somewhere else. So, the Breeze Snow, let's apply this one already. Everything should be Breeze Snow in a bit. Close. What we need also is XFCE settings manager. So that's why it's so interesting to use these, um, this um, D menu, that's what this yellow thing is on the top. You start learning by, well, finding out what the names are of all the, these applications. Otherwise we'll just do Control alt m which is all the shortcut to get to the same thing. Um, 
So, appearance. We decided to do something gray. What was it? Smoke dark. Icons. I think it was color I had her. Fonts. We can make them one bigger. Why not? Okay. You see everything changed a little bit. <gasps> and my icons have changed as well. Super. Settings. Close. Now, Ctrl Alt M is going to be needed again because mouse and touchpad is here is the theme. I'm wondering why the theme is not applied. I still have this blue thing here, a uh, black thing. Ctrl X, so let's log off. Log in. Ah, there is my snow cursor. So now everything is in, in, in grayish. The only thing that I'll need is maybe also a grayish wallpaper. this one we need also to kill the conky kill the conky is actually maybe better that I kill the conky inside my i3 in the config folder and control find conky and let's make it super F Eric put your screen key on like so so we go to the conky Control find conky and then find some more, find some more. Where is the conky line? Here it is. So next time I reboot, I won't see the conky. That's settled. And then we are going to kill all conky so we don't see it now. That's that. So we have changed the icons the cursor we have changed also the arc theme which is now smoke grayish we could change we could change yeah, why not we could change some things around let's also make polybar later on and then it's a little bit of uh, teaming as well so we have three options Option one, option two, option three, and option four is actually polybar. So it's down here. Um, I just wanted to see the conky, if that works. So super uh, control save, I mean. So that's saved, but we need to shut this one down. There can be only one bar. And then super shift reload, oops, reload. And super F back off, that's this. Kind of look and that's also nice it does say arco linux eric in there hey so i suppose it's gonna be the rainbow configuration not sure um, no that's not one it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be the conky i3 status bar here it says arco linux so i probably want to have tell people hey i'm on arch linux so Ctrl Shift Reload, it's now Arch Linux and all these elements and icons, everything is working, great. But at some point in time, hey, I say, let's take Polybar, why not? So we delete this, we are going to install, we have, do we have Packer already? No, Packer is not installed, Trizen is not installed. So let's install Yaourt. Tryzen. It's another way, another helper for AOR packages. Now your word is a little bit different. It asks edit package build. Yes, no, no. Continue building. Yes, so my fingers are on yes and a no. Typing in the password. Yes. Continue installing. Yes. Installing. Yes. And now we have Trizen installed. So now we can install um, Polybar. And the difference with Yahoot and Trizen is the way you have to answer it. It's always enter, enter, enter. So edit package build, no, enter. Edit Polybar, no, enter. And now it's going to be a long installation or a short in the installation depending on your hardware and how many cores you actually use 
I can remind you only of the big tip and the big tip is everywhere even in folders in open box I believe we have a folder there where but we're on i3 we have a folder telling hey guys be sure to actually use all the cores and it's in here as well so this one use all cores and then this build is going to be a lot faster if you use your hardware what can we do in the meantime we def definitely need to look at our i3 configuration file so let's move back to i3 let's put this one here because we need it all the time so the config file control find polybar and here it is already ready so i say yes polybar is installed now super f option polybar polybar is launched elsewhere search for the word from the opening of the bar till the end has to go or hashtag out in order for the system tray icons to show up only for the system tray icons to show up in polybar so super f these one two three four are the system icons now i'm gonna look for polybar and indeed there is here an application or a line that says launch polybar save the good question is do we actually have <laughs> do we actually have control h the configuration of polybar there it's there okay otherwise would i have to install it with arco linux polybar kit eh? and then it's in etc scale and what's in etc scale needs to be in your own folder okay we can uh, super shift reload this and we see on the top here we have the polybar active memory 10 percent cpu one but the system icons are here and so we have now two bars which is not bad which is maybe overkill but it's your system you can do whatever you want if you say no i don't want the bottom part of this um, this folder this uh, pull blah, blah, this toolbar there we need to navigate to all the way down super f4 super f i mean so what does need to go what does need to go from bar from bar till here that's the part that needs to go doesn't matter you can delete it why because it's an etc scale it's there so now we have no more super f back we have no more bottom panel but we have a panel on the top then you can start having some fun with the polybar configurations control find i3 i3 starts from here and here you say what you want to see network speed up and network speed down it's not shown uh, but the rest is shown so super f the rest is shown memory cpu date so if you want this to work that's maybe something first issue network speed up and then you go find it and find it and find it and it is looking for an interface with this name question is do you have an interface with that name so control alt i have config my interface is called this thing so it's just a matter of changing this here to okay zero s3 correct save and here we see already the effect of it let's control c this now put it also on the other one control v save every hardware every element um, every system is going to have another name uh, very strange names indeed as you can see and lots of things that we have on our systems here um, from different persons mexico canada all different kind of interfaces so we hashtag them out we, we delete this thing and then it works for our engine but in this case i really need to change one and that's what we did and we see ups and the downs when we probably do something 
silly like this we'll see some numbers up there so there you go this will work as well come on not found oh so good that i did this so our bash rc something happened to it bash rc is so empty indeed so we go to bash rc latest control c we get, go to our own in our own home folder control alt delete control v save delete delete and delete there is control alt t and does pksyua work he understands that and he knows what mirror is he knows what mirror is otherwise we've had this message that reflector is not installed and we're back to the future as you can see all trashing it all trashing it yeah why not so i've been well changing a lot of things already and it's up to you to decide what and how it um, what you like and what you hate um, I'm really thinking very hard what elements we might still be tackling. We've changed the bars, we've completely deleted the bar and gone over to polybar. Pamac is up here doing its thing to keep everything up to date. Um, so yeah, I guess we are all set. Don't see anything that is not working. Basically, if um, you run i3, take a look at the config of i3, super uh, f. And if you see an application that we have not installed yet, then you need to install it. So Rofi is working. We did that super f11 or super f12, that works. But basically, if some point in time you say, hey, um, that's a shortcut that doesn't work, uh, like this maybe, I don't know, mod shift q, kill, so mod shift and then a q no sorry that will work it's the other thing i was thinking about the thing that is super escape super escape works as well take a look at the skull here kill so that's fine that works too but just go over them if we are missing an application for some kind of like inkscape super f3 will that work super f3 yes sure it works and moving it to workspace 4 is just working so give it a try i know i3 is not the easiest of um, desktop environments so if you load up vivaldi and you go to arco linux d.com there's a lot of information about i3 and just take a look at all the articles. They'll all be okay, they'll all be fine. There are three pages of articles and you just check them out. And then you um, well become the master of Arch Linux i3. Enjoy the learning, have fun with Arch Way installation and then spicing it up with your own scripts, our scripts, no scripts. It's all up to you. <laughs>